totally gonna be the thumbnail, by the way. Completely. You've had a lot of drinking thumbnails. <laughs> I know, recently. I'm like, mm, anywhere. Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I have Miss Jody hello. here from Life's Organized Chaos. You need to go follow her. Links are below, and I'm gonna put one up in a card wherever the heck that goes. You're gonna see Doyle. Whoop, there he is. <laughs> He is joining the party. He's very obsessed with Jody today because she smells like another dog. Yes. So, um, yeah, he is getting all the scratches right now. We are gonna do a YouTube Q&A, and we're actually gonna ask each other questions that we're curious about, both being YouTube people. And um, I figured I'd wear my YouTube shirt for the occasion because... Why not? <laughs> and I was probably was just wearing this anyway, so whatever. <laughs> um, so I think we're just gonna like, maybe you ask a question, I ask a question, and go from there maybe? Why not? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so these are just curious questions that we, you know, have for each other. And these might be questions that subscribers have asked us in the past or something too, but you might learn something new. Mm -hmm. So let's go along with the YouTube Q&A. Well, you're the guest, I'll let you go first. Or do you want to answer first? Or do you want to ask first? Um, I'll ask first. Okay. I think our first question is probably very similar because yeah, I think it's a good starting question to ask. To right, all mine's really. a pretty baseline question first too. So really, what inspired you to start YouTube? Because I don't even answered it before. Ooh. Like a long, a long time, time ago. ago. Yeah. yeah, most of my Q&A questions now are like really weirdly specific. <laughs> um, uh, what inspired me? You know, I was in Fargo, and I was hella bored. <laughs> I mean, let's get honest here. Um, yeah, I was really bored, and I have watched YouTube for years and years and years, and um, the people that I watched, I really don't have, I mean, I have stuff in common with them as to like content a little bit, but like one of my favorite YouTubers is Makeup by Tiffany D. I okay. still watch her all the time, but she does like more makeup and fashion things, and that's like, clearly not my channel. I mean, I do a little bit of stuff in that, but it's just like, hey, this is just like, I'm a real person, this is what I'm using, I'm not a professional beauty person or anything like that, like, clearly. Mm -hmm. um, but I just liked her style, she was really relaxed and like, all of that. It took me a long time to get relaxed on camera, as I'm sure you've had that yes. challenge too. Yeah, so I just got inspired by them, and um, I think she had done, Makeup by Tiffany D had done a video kind of just chatting about, not you like YouTube kind of in general of like how she does it for a job and I never really realized that you could do it for a job and this was like back in like, I don't know, 2014, 2015. Okay. And I just never put two and two together to be like, oh, you get like paid, that's kind of cool. And not that I came into it like wanting to get paid, but I thought it would just be something different and more like a part-time job that I might get paid for someday and you don't get paid for a long time. I'll just let you guys know that Truth. right now. That is so true. <laughs> People think that, oh, you get paid day one. Mm -mm. It took years for me to get my first paycheck, let me put it that way. Um, but yeah, but I was inspired by her. I also watched Jen Ross from, okay. um, oh gosh, she has so many different channel names. Uh, what is her channel name now? I can't remember her channel name off the top of my head. She's changed it like four different times and I can't remember now. But anyway, I watch her stuff too. She does more like, mm, like favorite videos all the time. I did that for quite a while and it just, I don't know, never stuck for me, but I don't know. I just got inspired by boredom and watching other YouTubers. So yeah, that's kind of my question for you too. I'm pulling up my question. <laughs> yeah, what inspired you to first start YouTube? So this is a really good question because this one right here, she started to, um, she was one of the one of the inspirations for me. Did you oh, know? I have no idea. So I started cheers my YouTube. Cheers to that we're drinking wine yes. today. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so cheers to that. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> Inspiration. Mm. <sighs> tasty. Yeah. So tasty. Yes. So I look I no back idea. on when I started my YouTube channel and my first video was April 3rd, 2015. So a little over three years ago, which if you were to see that video to today, it's definitely progressed well. Maybe. I don't know about that. <laughs> but that summer, we had just purchased a house, my husband and I just purchased a house, and I was on sabbatical that summer. So after purchasing a home, we didn't have a lot of money left over to, you know, take a trip or anything. Yeah. And so I needed something to do to fill the time. So I'm boredom. like, hey, hey yeah. same as me, boredom, yeah. I'm like, Let me give this planner thing a little try at the YouTube. And like Emily said, you don't make any money starting off. And even now, it's pretty, well for me at least, it's pretty slim. Yeah. But um, I didn't go into it thinking, oh, I can make money off of this. Yeah. I just went into it 
thinking, oh, it's a great way for me to share my perspective on things mm -hmm. and just to share the things I like to look at and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And as my channel's evolved, I think my style has evolved as well with what I bring to my channel. Mm -hmm. But there are YouTubers that I watch that aren't like me. So like uh, Emily mentioned YouTubers that she watches that she doesn't do anything like that her nope. content channel. Same with me because I like to vary it up and watch different things that inspire me, but I also like to do things that inspire myself that I hopefully can inspire others as well. So she was really the inspiration to getting it started, which was really cool. No idea. Yeah. yeah. But, um, and you've probably, if you've seen both of our channels, very similar and crossover mm -hmm. content, but yeah. we both bring a unique perspective, I think, yeah. to that YouTube Like we could both literally have the same title of video and it would be so different because yeah. you have a different life than I do, you have a different perspective than I do, mm -hmm. and to anyone out there that's really interested in, get, you know, having a YouTube channel and doing similar content, like, budgeting and household stuff and cleaning and planning and things everyone has a unique voice and perspective and i feel like everyone there's enough space for everybody there really is Absolutely. enough space for everybody even though you might think it's really saturated right now and yes it is but i feel like we all have a unique voice and really to like find your tribe of people that come back week after week or you know month after month or whatever it is i just feel like Yes, there's a lot of crossover with our stuff, but we both have a unique circumstance situation where even if someone watching is very similar to us and has similar lifestyle and they want to share the same content, mm -hmm. go ahead. I mean, you're going to have something different to say. Um, and that being said, I mean, I don't really watch a lot of people that do our similar thing because I feel like my content gets really watered down if I do that. I don't know if you feel the same way yeah, about I, that. There's a few that I watch, but I don't watch I watch a like a ton. handful. I subscribe to about a handful of planner people. Yeah, same here. And that's it. I just can't. And probably because I just do it, that I don't find it as interesting as maybe if I didn't have a YouTube channel. Correct. You know, I might subscribe to like 20 different YouTubers that do budgeting or planning or whatever and like watch them while I plan. I know a lot of people comment that they, you know, watch us while yes. they, they plan too. But yeah, I watch a lot of different like people that are like career vloggers and people that do like tech reviews, which I'm clearly not a technology person. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, I just watch other random weird people and you know, like people that do like time lapses and I have so many different subscriptions. I watch a lot of like beauty stuff. Um, I'm like really into that. I don't know why. Like I rarely wear makeup. So like, I don't know why I'm into it. That's why it. you like to watch it though. I know, but it's like very interesting to yeah. me. And I'm like, oh, it's just like very relaxing. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so we both like have a unique perspective, but your perspective is unique as well. So you guys could definitely start something if you haven't already and you know, Absolutely. just do it, right? Uh oh, need to find my questions again. Okay. <laughs> she's got really good questions and I've got like really like, this no, is they're all <laughs> really, she's got some good questions for me too. All right. So here's okay. my next question for Emily. All right. So if you follow her like financial videos, this is a good one. Hold on. I need some wine for this. She might. <laughs> um, so she's debt free. So I said, you know, now that you're debt free and being single, she follows Dave Ramsey. Cheers to that. Being debt free. And being single is what I meant. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> but following Dan, uh, Dave Ramsey, there mm -hmm. are some steps that really just don't apply to you. Yes. So what's your next financial goal? So right now, if you guys follow the Dave Ramsey plan, I am on baby step four, five, and six, which four is contributing 15% of your income um, into retirement. And then baby step five is safe for kids college which i don't have any kids um if you count doyle i guess but he's not gonna learn anything new anymore um, <laughs> and then baby step six is to pay off your mortgage early so right now i'm really focusing on only step uh four which is the retirement right now so since i just started a new job and i will link up in a card somewhere my like life update so i'll just like not, I'll spare you the deets um, in this video, but um, I am now able to contribute through work, which is awesome because they do have a match. So I've already filled up my paperwork and all of that good stuff. But um, that's kind of what I'm focusing on right now because now I'm trying to get into my new normal of like having a normal paycheck, doing stuff like that. I mean, when I was like unemployed, um, I was still like creating revenue through YouTube and my Etsy shop and things like that. So um, that was a different type of revenue that's only run through my business. I actually don't even take a paycheck from my business, which is weird, um, but it's something that I do. So I might get into some sort of investing with those type of money at, or those type of monies at some point, um, but I haven't really figured out what I wanna do and I'm gonna like, that's kind of like more into the future and like 
2019, um, kind of talking to my uh, tax professional and seeing what her advice is on that kind of stuff and what uh, how I can set it up legally and like make sure that everything's like good to go. So um, I think that's a really cool way to like use the YouTube income. I mean, clearly I do like giveaways and I do like shipping and I do lots of other things on my channel that I wouldn't be able to do and I'm sure you wouldn't be able to do yeah. if you didn't have that like little bit of income coming in. Um, so like showing you new products or planner stickers or hauls and things like that I wouldn't be able to do without the income um, and like going on trips and stuff like all my go wild budget money is going to be through YouTube this year. In the future I'd like to invest some of that money into my future because you know you got to treat it like a business when it gets to a certain point. Yeah. So that's kind of my like more goals and then once i get established with my kind of new normal then i'll start with the house stuff and like paying that stuff off too i do have some house projects i want to do first oh there goes doyle <laughs> mr hobbly wobbly up there um but i have a few house projects i want to complete first and then probably towards the end of the year i'll start um with the pay down of the mortgage probably so that's like into 2019 so yeah exciting yeah exciting. i gotta find you again because somebody else has texted me so <laughs> Oh my goodness. But maybe we text like way too much. We do. <laughs> like, there's like bottles of wine. Through. I'm like, right to do. Five minutes later. Right? This is something I've been curious about for years, you guys. Years. And you probably have as well. Right. Okay. Will your husband ever make an appearance on your channel? And side note, what does he think of your channel and does he watch your channel? I have so, a lot of questions about her husband. I've never met him ever. Really? No. You've been, oh, you uh -huh. haven't. We're gonna go to Dave Ramsey yes. together though. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you met him once in passing. Like, did I? At the Dave Ramsey, when I, him and I went oh, to the Oh yeah, yeah, I, I was so busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was like a quick, this is Like, quick hey, bye, <laughs> like, gotta go. But that was a really good question, because I know a lot of you have asked that before. Because you mention him all the time, I and do. I'm like, are you really married? <laughs> like, what's going on? I wear the ring, but is it real? Right? It's <laughs> cubic zirconia yeah. up in here. <laughs> <laughs> so yes I am married we just celebrated our one year um, this past July but um, for right now he probably won't make an appearance on my channel boo Chris get on our channel <laughs> <laughs> he's you know he's not as comfortable being from the camera and True. you know I need to respect that yeah now there is I thought I'd maybe put him in once during a vlog last year I thought I did maybe I don't remember but I mean like a but, formal like sit down yeah. like a Q&A or like you know what I mean you know, maybe if there's know. enough interest out there, maybe we will, if I can twist his arm. So go to your yes. channel and make all the comments and be like, we need Chris. <laughs> we need Chris. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, I post pictures of him and I before, yeah. so you can see what he looks yeah, like Yeah, you there. post pictures yeah. once in a while, but, but not never like been on my channel. content, content. Yeah. But, you know, he really does support my channel. He, I don't think he watches my videos. <laughs> I know. It's okay. Right? It's okay, though. <laughs> him and I talk every day, so it's... He's You're just talking on smack me today, about him. Right? Yeah, he doesn't need no. to know. <laughs> Could you imagine? I know. What? He no. watches it one day like, what is what this? Is this? <laughs> um, but he really does support my channel. And even though I make a little bit of income with it, um, we do talk about the, from a financial standpoint. Yeah. But um, yeah, maybe he'll make an appearance one of these days. In fact, um, him and I are going on vacation really soon, which I hope Ooh. to vlog. Yeah, that'd be a good opportunity to yes. like maybe get him a little comfortable. Yeah, in front of the kind camera. of slowly work him into the yeah, camera and be like, so. I'll I'll edit it in a way that will make right. you look very appealing, sir. Just not that side, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. So. I've been been curious about yes. that for years, and I'm like. Is he ever gonna like show up and you know even just like walking in the background or I don't know like just little things yeah. like that. Well, so. so the thing is though when I film my videos because with my working out of the oh, house yeah, you're and long like work hours by yourself usually. Yeah, yeah, so I try to film when he's not home so that mm -hmm. when he is home him and I can just enjoy some time together. Right. So there's that to it too, but. You know, I don't have that problem, so I just film whatever. Right? You have the Doyle dog. Hey. I know. He is He is like a life partner, let me tell you. He just is very demanding. Oh, truth. <laughs> More questions. Let's see here. Where are my questions for you? Yeah, we do text a lot. Trying to get I know. Back. We're like scrolling. I'm like, I'm holding it right where it's supposed right. to be. Because, yep. Looking back. What's one thing you've learned about yourself since starting a YouTube channel? Okay. And then the follow-up is, what's one thing you're hoping to accomplish with your channel in the future? Okay, one thing I learned about myself is um, I don't care. It sounds really bad, but it's the truth. I kind of don't care 
about other people's opinions anymore and like when they're in a negative way i mean clearly constructive criticism love it i'm all about constructive criticism and getting better but when you just don't like me i don't care i i always had this feeling that i thought i needed to be like well liked as i think a lot of people go through mm -hmm. in like you know a lot of their years even up until forever you know yeah. but i i found out that like for me if i feel like i'm satisfying myself and my channel and i really create content and i think you may do the same thing i want to create content that i want to watch so if I get a video suggested to me or I have an idea and it's like, it feels too forced. I don't really want to do that. I just don't do it. Like we're our own bosses mm -hmm. on YouTube. Like we don't have to do anything. We don't have to take any, you know, any criticism. We could disable comments. Like we could do all these things that we don't choose to do. But I've just over the years kind of gotten away from caring about what people that don't support me think, I guess is a better way to describe it. Like I know that comes across kind of like rude and weird, but there are so many people that watch both of our channels right. that don't support us, which is weird, but I'm like, why'd you even click on it? Like you clearly don't want to watch a budgeting video or a planning video. Like why are you making comments or sending like DMs about how you don't like me? It's like, stop spending your time doing that. Yep. I mean, I find it kind of funny now, but in the beginning I took it very seriously like oh my gosh this person doesn't like me I need to do whatever they say and you kind of just find your own groove with YouTube and you just really figure out what you want to produce and what you want to show on the internet and what you're comfortable with mm -hmm. and then if that changes you got to be okay with that changing so yeah so I guess the first first question is you just learn not to care as much um I don't know if you have felt yeah. that that you just kind of have to like you roll definitely with it. have to have a strong backbone i feel yeah and, and we're both like in our 30s so it's not like you know we're in our teens and right. don't really know how to deal with things and people in their 30s don't know how to deal with it too guys like it's not about really age it's about just maturity it's, and like figuring out what yeah. you are okay with and what are you comfortable with because there's been things i've been comfortable with and then i've pulled back on and things i haven't been comfortable with and then i've let it go and i'm like oh that i'm comfortable with that yeah. now you know exactly. so just kind of pick and choose yeah, you just have to, for me, I just had to learn to kind of how you start. It, it took a while for me to get comfortable with those comments and mm -hmm. those personal DMs, but now it's like, you know, it's my channel. If, if you don't yeah. like it, you don't have to watch it. Yeah, so. for sure. There There is something for you out there. Yeah. Like, let's be clear. There is something for you out there for sure. And if it's not me, that's okay. And if it's not her, that's okay yeah. too. So like, um, you know, and we'll find uh, people that'll find us and want to watch us will subscribe or watch a video and maybe they'll watch one video and maybe they'll never watch a video and that's all right yeah, too. Absolutely. So for sure. So what are your plans? Like what are your future goals for your channel? Future goals for the channel? I don't know. I used to do goal setting for the channel like every year and then I kind of stopped doing that because I felt like it was weird. <laughs> where it was like I want this many subscribers and I want this many like whatever and I was like I the only reason I did it is because I watched other people do it and I thought that it was like a nice tangible thing to like write it down but then in a way it was like I kind of just want to organically like let that happen like mm -hmm. I don't pay for followers I know people do pay for followers and subscribers and things like that and I've never done that it's just not like up my alley or anything so I don't know if I have any future goals for the channel, I just want to like stay consistently inconsistent, maybe. Um, I stopped my posting schedule last winter, like last October, I think it was. It's been almost a year. And I really have been enjoying more flexibility with not giving people expectations that I can't produce, if that makes yeah. sense. Um, right now, currently, as you guys are probably seeing this, I am posting every single day, but that is going to change at some point. I don't know when that's going to change. It may never change. I don't know. But for me to say I was always doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for like the long, like years and years, and it just, for me, wasn't sustainable. I was working full time and it just wasn't working out for me anymore. And I had to just like cut all ties and take a huge break. And there was like a whole month, I think it was in January. I don't think I even posted, I, may, I might've posted one video. And um, I just had to like tap out. I was just over and I just didn't have any creativity. I wasn't inspired by anything. And I'm sure you feel that too, where you're just like cranking out videos sometimes and you're just like, 
after you get done editing it, you're like, oh, I don't even want to yeah. like, I don't even want to upload, like, I don't even want to publish it because it's like, I don't even like it anymore, you know? Um, and then you have to make the decision of like, well, what do you do with that video? Yeah. Like, are you actually gonna keep it? Are you not gonna keep it? Like, there's so many different like layers of creativity. I don't know, you kind of get annoyed with yourself after I mean, that. I've got video sitting on my laptop that I've edited and they're just sitting there mm -hmm. because I just either didn't yep. love them anymore or mm -hmm. just wasn't relevant. Yep. I have like raw files and folders yeah. sitting on my laptop too that I'm like, am I actually gonna film that someday? Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I'm just gonna keep it just in case. Like, I don't know. Staying consistently inconsistent for me is a goal of 2019 as we're kind of coming into the fall now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have any goals though. I don't really have any like specific, I like this or I want this or I need this or whatever. So I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. Go to go wild this next year. That, hey, that's, that's a goal. goal. That's a goal, I guess. Right? Yeah, Las Vegas, come find me. And I'm trying to convince this one over here. Fingers crossed. Yes. She needs to come with me. We could be roomies. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We could be roomies. <laughs> Cut down on the cost. Right? And it's to Vegas, so it's like a cheap, it's a cheap uh, it place. Is. So stay tuned. We'll see. You never know. All right, so here is your last question. Do you have any more home improvement projects planned for the future? Ooh, that is a good question. So. I just recently finished, not, I didn't do this, but we just recently got you our, did? I know, right? Oh my gosh, I'm just skill right there. We just recently You should finished, quit your job and be a general contractor. <laughs> that would be scary. <laughs> but um, I, we just refinished our master bathroom remodel and we love it. Now, once you do one project, I know Emily has done a lot of projects in our house since she's moved in. I don't know about you, but we get the itch to do more projects now to keep oh. current with our nice project and so <laughs> we're like but our bathroom looks I like know. this we need to do this and then i totally the get it our house. Mm -hmm. um but we want to redo our kitchen now mm -hmm. kitchens are very expensive and yeah. so we are looking at actually just painting our cabinets nice. um, for the time being mm -hmm. painting party yes exactly but i think we're going to paint our bedroom first which while we're on vacation oh. i think we'll paint our bedroom yeah. um because it's a like a tannish brown mm -hmm. color and then we have more neutrals with grays and whites and blues in our house well and since your bathroom is like the bathroom that she just remodeled yes. is her master bathroom so like going from one to another that would actually make a lot of yes. sense plus paint is pretty inexpensive it just takes time exactly yeah. and it gives it a nice clean look mm -hmm. now when we paint our walls our carpet right now is like a tan color mm -hmm. and so we do want to get new carpet although that's higher on my priority list than it is on Chris's so we have to negotiate there a little bit um, <laughs> maybe after go wild right exactly <laughs> So we definitely want to do our kitchen, um, the carpeting, flooring on our main level, and then just updating some things in our house. So we got a few things on the horizon, but yeah. yeah. Nice. Ooh, I'm excited. It's always exciting. For those of you that are homeowners, you probably know what it feels like to do that one project and then you want to keep going. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. And for us, we, we plan on living in our house for another 10 years or so. So we're trying to be really strategic with the projects that we do want to complete because yeah. we want to look at the ROI. and. We want to totally. make sure the money we're putting into our house will get mm -hmm. out of it versus just doing it for us for the time being. Yeah. And you want to be able to enjoy some of those things that might not give you a huge return on investment Absolutely. that you're like, this is just for us, this is what we like, Yes. but resale, eh, it doesn't really matter if you paint or not or whatever it is, exactly. but it's like something you would enjoy yes. for you know a long time to come. So yeah, yeah totally makes sense. I need a drink now. <laughs> We, we all need drinks. <laughs> We're like, mm, okay, anyway. Drink. So anyway, that is it for all of our YouTube questions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. You can thumbs it down. I don't recommend doing that. I don't know what happens when you do that, <laughs> but you should thumbs it up for sure. Jody's information is going to be linked down below. You should all go follow her. She's got great content. She does more financial stuff than I do. So you guys should really go check her out for sure. And we also did a video on your channel today at the yes. same time, um, which I'm sure was a beast to actually <laughs> edit because I took forever, oh <laughs> but that's all right. Um, but yeah, go check her video out as well. I'll link it up in a card as well as down below. So yeah, that's it. Anything else you would like to add, ma'am? I think we're good. It's been fun though. Yeah, we're, we're finally like really collabing. It's been, we've been and friends for, how many for years? so long. <laughs> I know, we're like, 
We should mm. clearly like get on the internet together right. because we've never really done this. So yeah. All right. Well, that's it for us. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.